Well, a um, pleasant Tuesday morning to everyone watching my video. Um, this is Billy Cor from the Carolina Circle Mall Wiki. Today is um, Tuesday, September the 9th of 2014. About it's two minutes after 6.30 in the morning and as usual I woke up early because I had a bad dream for one thing, but uh, I really don't know why I'm up this early really. <laughs> anyway, um, would you guys like another Packard Bell related video? Lately we've been talking about, forgive the mess here, the Legend 1510 Supreme as well as my childhood Packard Bell, the Legend 822 CDT. But there's one Packard Bell that I bought last year that I really don't talk about much because, well, I had to harvest some parts out of it and it was unusable for quite a while. In fact, before yesterday, um, this particular computer hadn't been powered on since last summer. And that computer is right over here. This is the Packard Bell Legend 818 CDT. Which was missing a hard drive. Oh, no, 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 not hard drive. It was missing the optical drive and the floppy drive. But yesterday I bought an old Gateway Essentials um, PC from Value Village for $5 hoping that I could um, fix it up but unfortunately the computer was, it was a small form factor computer and it was ridden with um, bad caps and the video card the onboard video that is was very very flaky so it was def it was certainly not worth keeping so I just harvested the parts out of it and just tossed it aside but two of the parts I harvested out of it was this um, CDRW optical drive and this Mitsumi um, floppy disk drive both of which this Packard Bell needed to be, to be brought back to life with so um, I, as you know um, last time you saw this corner of my room it was being used for my bedside Packard Bell which at the time was my Legend 1510 Supreme well, since I moved the 1510 Supreme over there, since I got the TV tuner card, I haven't had a Packard Bell over here in a while to use for my bed, that is. And I think this is the best um, bedside Packard Bell I've had so far. And it's not really because of the computer itself, as awesome as it is. It's the monitor I've chosen to use with it. It's this ginormous 23-inch um, um, Dell monitor 1080p focus camera. I got this new back in um, 2009 and for a while I just I haven't had any use for it so it's just been sitting in my closet but now um, I have it hooked up to this Legend 818 CDT and with the large size of this monitor and the s small resolution that I have set to this, which is 640 by 480, it's perfect for me to see from my bed. Wh which explains the reason why I'm using such a modern monitor on s such an old vintage computer like this. Now for those who um, don't remember this um, Legend 818 CDT, I bought it for a little over a hundred dollars in February of 2013 because I, this was the closest I figured I would ever get to finding my childhood Packard Bell um, Legend 822 CDT but as things go um, two months about two or three months later um, I got the 822 and this was just put to the side and really hasn't done a whole much since then and it's now um, being used as my bedside Packard Bell I got this um, Packard Bell keyboard hooked up to it and because it has a long enough um, cable on it this classic uh, Microsoft mouse PS2 style so um, oh yeah and I got some Dell speakers hooked up to it let's go ahead and fire it up getting a 
more comfortable spot. Power on self test. Oh, yeah, and I did put a CF card adapter in here. It's four gigabyte one running Windows 95. What else? Upgraded it to Windows 95 um, B as well as Microsoft Plus, which doesn't happen a whole lot on my old Packard Bells. It's real quick to boot straight into the desktop. Uh, sorry if the camera gets shaky here, folks. I just gotta do things in weird angles. Yeah, I set this up, I guess, last night. Um, see everything is accounted for here um, on the system properties got 32 megabytes of RAM device manager Cirrus logic video card pretty much exactly like my 822 just a couple of model numbers different Packard Bell sound card you know, pretty much standard fare on a mid-90s Packard Bell. Again, um, there's a spec sticker. Um, I actually did, I forgot to mention this, I did swap motherboards between this and the 1510 Supreme over there. And for a simple reason, I couldn't get my fast media remote to work with the 1510 Supreme, which I really wanted to use since I had the TV card in it. And I don't know what was causing it not to work. It, it plugs into the serial port, but it just it just wouldn't do it. So I had to um, swap the motherboards because both are PB600 boards. So the 818 now has the 1510 Supreme's motherboard in it, meaning that even though this computer originally shipped with a fast media remote, more than likely I will not be able to use it for whatever reason. Uh, let's see. I, don't have, I really want to get a little bit of rest, so I don't want to show a whole lot. Might as well show Packer Bell Navigator, version 3.5. Welcome from Packard Bell. We offer you two computing environments to choose from. Packer Bell's Navigator or Microsoft Windows. You may also begin by taking a quick lesson on using the mouse. And, and once again, I've run out of mouse jokes, so we'll go ahead and go into the Navigator. Welcome to Navigator's living room. Yeah, as you can see, um, all the way here from my bed, I can see this monitor perfectly. So I, ha I had been using a um, standard Packard Bell CRT monitor um, with my bedside Packard Bell setups in the past, which was okay, but and I typically prefer to use those for originality and that looks better on a CRT but wasn't as easy to see from bed as it would be from an actual desk so a uh, big fat juicy monitor like this makes a little bit more sense in this kind of um, arrangement yeah sa same stuff we always see in Packard Bell Navigator Get out, get back out of there. Uh, let's see what I got installed on here. Didn't, haven't put a whole lot on here. Got Big Job um, by Discovery, as it, and yes, that is the Discovery Channel. Digby the dog. Need to make a video about that. Kid Picks. Some, some, some of the living book games. Just. Preloaded stuff, more preloaded stuff, including Works 3.0, Microsoft Bob, the Gus games, all the Packard Bell um, multimedia software, actual Packard Bell stuff, Packard Bell Audio Utilities, QuickTime for Windows, and some Sierra games, including The Incredible Machine, Mixed Up Mother Goose Deluxe, and 3D Ultra Pinball. And while we're on the subject of um, Sierra games, 
You may recall that when I tried to play 3D Ultra Pinball a couple of months ago on my Legend 822 CDT, there was some gl graphical glitches. And I didn't know what it was at the time. I've, I had experienced this before on other Packard Bells, but never on that particular one. And I figured out what the problem is. It's because I upgraded from Windows 95 RTM to Windows 95B, and for whatever reason on these old Packard Bells, um, when you upgrade to Windows 95B, it causes 3D Ultra Pinball to freak out as far as graphics are concerned. And I don't know, I still don't know why it does that, but I, um, went back to 95 RTM on the 822 because I really wanted to play 3D Ultra Pinball the way it was meant to be on there. And because this 818 is running Windows 95B, I, um, I did not install 3D Ultra Pinball on here. Oh yeah, we got Word 95. And that's about it for the, uh, start menu um, goodies. Now um, I'm going to play one of my favorite computer games of all time, Fatty Bear's Birthday Surprise. <clears throat> Move back over here. Like I said, it's not the most simplified process in the world to do this, and I apologize for the shaky camera, but let's go ahead and fire it on up. Haven't played a humongous game on here yet since I um, set it up last night, so it's going to do the CD-ROM test. That humongous entertainment games are um, big fans of. Shouldn't take too long because this is a rather um, fast optical, optical drive. Sound effects are a little bit cut off for some reason. Yeah, I need to fix this sound problem. Oh, will she ever be surprised? I better get busy too. I've got a lot of decorating to do. I'm even going this to get a little choppy. For her bulletin board. Oh, Gretchen, that sounds wonderful. I need to go to the kitchen and make Kayla's birthday cake. Fatty Bear, would you like some help making a birthday cake? I'm a heck of a cleaner member. Oh, yes. Thank you, Matilda Rabbit. That would be nice. And I think I'll go ahead and end the video right here. I'm, I apologize for the shortness of this video, but it is rather early in the morning and I do want to rest up a little bit. So um, that's the Legend 818 CDT, um, which we haven't seen on this channel in a while. So Billy Core signing off. I went on ahead and decided to do a quick little epilogue to this video because I didn't really end it very well, but. And plus, I wanted to show how this looks in when my bedroom is dark. That's not right. That's what the bar goes. I usually don't make that kind of mistake. But that's what you get when you're tired. I spelled happy birthday. Whew, all done. Now everything is ready for Kayla's Yeah, I'm under the covers, and I'm pretty much in my standard bed position, and I can see this just fine. And operated just fine.
actually had an interesting idea a while ago for this setup. Now, unfortunately, the motherboard in this Packard Bell um, won't take anything over 4 gigabytes for a hard drive or a CF card. But if I was to use oh disk overlay utility and find a, a big enough CF card, I can copy a lot of these old computer games like Fatty Bear to the CF card and not have to worry about getting up and put the CD in. Which I've done this idea before, but without the disk overlay, but this particular computer will need it if I want to do something like that. And of course, I do need to find a bigger CF card to do that with. Hi, thanks for helping. You're welcome. Uh, there we are, back at the desktop. Uh, can you tell I'm tired? <laughs> How about we go into Dawson to see if there's any junk we can play? How about some Jill of the Jungle? So we can do this with one hand and in the dark, which may prove to be a rather interesting adventure. Bear with me here, folks. Try, can't really see the keys. Oop. Looks about right. This is just an excellent and wonderful platforming game. Um, Pretty much as classic as it gets, in my personal opinion. And we're going to get to play this in just one hand. It's a rather old game, actually. It came out, I believe, in 1991. And I do remember playing it on the original 822. Not a whole lot, though, but I do remember it. Yeah, this is not easy with one hand. <laughs> uh. Oh, there we go. Oh, that nearly killed me. Yeah, I'm not doing well at all. Goodness, the ship key. I'm used to playing this with a joystick, but I don't have one hooked up to this particular Packard Bell. Okay, enough of this disaster. <laughs> And I guess I'll go ahead and call this a video, finally, Billy Core signing off.